Hello again everyone and welcome to the back garden yard. In today's video I'm going to show you one of the most misunderstood fertilizers there is and that is 3400 ammonium nitrate. Now a lot of people say don't use this in the garden but I'm telling you if you use this and use it the right way you can really make your garden grow nicely. So I'm going to tell you how. Let's grow. So I probably had more accidents with ammonium nitrate in the garden than anything else I've ever done wrong in the garden. So I want you to pay attention to how I'm sprinkling this around. I'm not letting it touch the leaves of the plants. And that is so important. So the number one thing to do is don't just throw it down at your plants and let it get stuck in the cracks in the leaves. It will burn them up. Also, don't let it get over and touch the stalks. It'll burn them up. So you will see very soon when I start to hoe the dirt that I hoe the dirt from outside and put it over the ammonium nitrate and cover it. And that's so very important. So notice that I'm, I'm making sure that I pull dirt from around and then cover up the ammonium nitrate. You want to cover it up so it won't wash off when you water it or when it rains. I always try to do this when it rains. So there are thunderstorms in the forecast and I'm putting the ammonium nitrate out. That way it can just naturally sink in down to the roots and it will do the job. So once again, notice how carefully I am bringing this dirt in from around the side of the plant and covering the ammonium nitrate and not scraping the dirt that's right there at the plant. Now I'm also, this corn is growing towards the west because the east has got all these trees behind me. So I'm using the dirt also to push this corn up. And by doing that, I'm straightening it out. And I think you can see that right here. There you go. So I'm pulling the dirt up, straightening that corn up just because it's growing the wrong way. Now you want to put the corn in a mound. You want to mound the dirt up around it to support that stalk. And then after a week, I'm going to come back and I'm going to plow the whole garden and I'm going to mound it again. Now let's go look at these cucumbers. So these cucumbers are doing fine. They've been transplanted now for about four or five days. And what I want to do is give them an ammonium nitrate boost also. And I want them to jump up and grab that trellis. And then that's going to be the end of it. So notice how carefully I'm putting it all the way around. I will not touch the plants with this. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and do the, the rest of this row. So here we go down to the end. And just, just sprinkle it on, but not too close to the roots. There we go. Okay. Now, let's get the hoe and let's work it in. So here we go. Sorry, it's taking just a second to get the hoe. There we go. And that soil there is actually I'm pulling from under the trellis. And it hasn't got the uh, organic matter in it. But the organic matter was put in the hole. So it's fine to use that untreated soil. But once again, you notice I'm bringing soil from the outside and putting on top. That is so important that you do not pull all that ammonium nitrate right up around the roots. If you do, you're going to burn your plants. Take it from someone that has in the past. Okay, so that's the way that one looks. Now, at the first of this video, I showed how these plants have grown. At the very opening, I showed how they have grown. 
and then I'll be back in just a little bit and show them again uh, in this video here but this is uh, the way you do it okay and I think that's enough on uh, how to cover them up now I also did my tomato plants I didn't show this with the video camera I figured the uh, corn and the cucumbers was enough And we're looking at the same perspective that I showed it a week ago when I put the ammonium nitrate on it. And as you can see, uh, this leaf was, this leaf here was right down here. And now the whole plant has grown over a foot. It's, uh, it's well, about a foot. And so that's what has happened because of the ammonium nitrate and some good sun and rain. And we'll come on over here and we'll look at the corn from another perspective. And we're going to take a look at these cucumbers next. But first, we're going to come over here and look at the corn. And I was showing the corn and the way it was leaning from this angle. And now once again, we can see that the corn has jumped up and it is really growing nicely. So the ammonium nitrate for corn is almost a must if you really wanna grow the stuff. Okay, so let's come on over now and let's take a look at these cucumbers and the cucumbers that I treated with the ammonium nitrate. Here's the one that I had it tagged with that tag. It says Asian cucumber. Now we can see that it has taken off and is running. And we'll look at the, the other ones. This one here is taken off and it's running. So now we're out here with the tomato plants and these were the tomato plants that I just planted and I hit them with ammonium nitrate. I'm gonna give you a close up of how they look. And as you can see, they are doing very nicely. They've grown over a foot in just over a week. Actually, I think it's just one week since I hit them with the ammonium nitrate. We had two nice rains this week and that washed it in and these plants are responding. And here's the next one. And as you can see, they're making these leaders that are coming out and that's what I want now this one down here is not so healthy because it was half covered with the straw and this leaf here has already fallen off so I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch that off and I'm gonna go ahead and pinch that one off but the other leaders I'm leaving on because I want the leaders now, a lot of people are going to tell you to cut those off. But what I'm going to do is let this come up, and then I'm going to tie it to this side of the fence. I'm going to let this one come up, and I'm going to tie it to the other side of the fence. And then I'm going to let this one come up, and I'm going to run it out that way. And these plants are going to be huge plants that come up this trellis. So that's what's going on here with my tomato plants. And that's how I'm gonna get 100 pounds or more from just five plants. So we'll look at this one. Same thing, I'm actually gonna leave that sucker, leader, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this leaf off and leave that one. And I got some more coming here. And once again, I actually see some blooms, some buds starting right there. And so, let me go over here and let's look at this one to see if there's some buds starting on it. There are. 
So even though I hit it with ammonium nitrate, we have some buds starting to form. And of course, that's what we want. But it gets no more ammonium nitrate, no more fertilizer at all until it sets fruit. So let's look at some of the other things in the garden and see if we want to use ammonium nitrate on them. Now here are the sweet potatoes and you can see they have already started running and the sweet potatoes you don't want long vines you're going to get long vines but you don't want them long you want them to make roots we're trying to make roots out of these so the sweet potatoes the answer is a emphatic no do not use ammonium nitrate on the sweet potatoes okay the next thing is the okra the okra came up very well and uh, I've got to get in here and thin it now and weed it but what's happening with the okra is I do not want it to grow up really really tall and fast because if it does it's going to get so high it'll fall over later on in the summer this will produce until September so I do not want to use ammonium nitrate on the okra you do not want to use ammonium nitrate on the pole lima beans because they will make these huge running plants but they won't bloom for a long time and they won't set uh, the seed pods that make the lima beans so what you've got to do is just leave these alone let them come on up and after a while they'll start blooming on their own so the answer is no don't use it on these Okay, let's come over and look at the zucchini squash. Zucchini squash are already starting to bud. You can see the buds down here. And the answer is no. Do not use it on these. We don't need, these leaves are already bigger than my hand. We don't need triple the size of my hand leaves. We still may get them just from the 10, 10, 10 and the cow manure mixture I used, but we don't want huge plants. They'll blow over in the wind. Uh, what I've got to do is get out here and work these now. I'm gonna do a video on how to work the entire garden. I think that's appropriate at this time, but that's coming very soon. And this, is a Korean pumpkin squash or Asian pumpkin squash and we can see that it is uh, taking off and it is uh, running very nicely I got lots of buds on those and these things will do just fine with only the 10 10 10 and the cow manure you do not want to uh, make a lot more leaves these leaves here are already as big as two hands and they'll get as big probably as three hands so you don't want to you don't want to try to make bigger leaves on these okay folks i think we can end this video here i hope you have learned something if you have if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe and we will see you on the next video.